Man, Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Greenwood Stock Trading wants to show you how to make money in the stock market. Be a successful investor and make money from anywhere in the world you choose to be. Travel more. Spend more time with friends and family. Or simply, just enjoy the freedom to have fun. What are you waiting on? Join us today on your successful options trading journey. All right, man. Uh, all I can say is out hey, man. It's cold blooded because apparently Jose Benavidez Sr., the father of David Benavidez Jr., and Jose Benavidez, I mean, <laughs> Jose Benavidez Jr., David Benavidez Jr., is saying that Kayla Plant, David Benavidez, is in the works for September 2022. All right. Um, he's saying that this fight is going down. Hit the club. It's going down. Meet me at the mall. <laughs> it's going down. You know, I'm kind of my generation music. Shout out to Jock. Uh, New Jock City, one of the best trap albums ever. Um, but, uh, but, but yeah, man. Uh, so, so he's saying that fight next. So apparently Benavidez was talking about how he wanted to fight Demetrius Andrade and how he would take the seven million if Eddie was offering the seven. And like I said, you can't be, you can't be listening to these fighters, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't listen to the fighters, man. You got to listen to, you got to listen to the, uh, you can't just listen to these fighters. That's what I can't say at all. Hey. It says, Team Benavidez is working on closing the deal with Kayla Plant on September 2022. First fight, May 21st. Uh, first, you know, May 21st versus Lemieux Plant in September at David Benavidez 300. So, like I said before, Benavidez, I mean, like I said before, he talking about he was going to be fighting Demetrius Andre, and I told y'all that wasn't going to happen. Al Heyman is not going to work with him. You know, Espinosa said he signed a multi-fight deal. They wanted him to sign a multi-fight deal, right? Um, before he went to the zone, and he didn't. He didn't want. He didn't want it. So they moved on. So you know, they not letting them fight Demetrius Andrade. And like I said before, now it's a duck. You said you was gonna fight him, and now you ain't fighting. You fight a nigga coming off a loss. Who gonna have? Who gonna probably fight? Have a tune up. So see how that worked, bro? You know, listen to the fighter Samson Two Whiskey when he said we're gonna need more money to fight, uh, more money than it would take to fight Canelo for uh for Benavidez to fight Andre. He meant what he said. He meant that. And it's messed up. You know, Demetrius Andre made some bad career decisions, and so did um so did Andre Ward. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Andre Ward had a a, a gold medal in his back pocket. That's the difference. He had a gold medal in his back pocket. So, I mean, that's always going to give you leverage, especially when you medal. Maybe not a bronze all the way, but uh you know, but you know, it's messed up. You know, now they don't know what they're going to do. Uh, they was even talking Andre was even talking about uh they was even talking about like waiting, like not even fighting Zach Parker and waiting for Dave Lemieux. I mean, waiting for Lemieux and Benavidez to happen to make it a fight. Now look what, look him now. Al Heyman is playing for keeps. He let the Mexican come over across the street and get him a one fight deal, allegedly with uh, Jaime Munguia coming to fight Charlo, but he won't let Demetrius Andrade come over there. He won't multi multi fight deal, but you know what that it got to do? They ain't got to do with ethnicity. They feel that Charlo going. They feel that Charlo going wax Jaime Munguia. That's why. They feel that like he going to beat him. They don't feel. They don't feel that. Uh, they don't feel that uh, Benavidez can go beat Andre, and also too. You know, part of that Charlo deal to uh come to the zone. Remember when Eddie said he had the seven million? Eddie wanted him, Charlo to fight for two fights, seven and ten million dollars. I don't know what the second fight would have been a rematch, or whatever. But you know, Eddie was offering a two fight deal, 
And Charlo was willing to come for one. I heard they was willing to come for one. And then he wouldn't let them come for one. So, I mean, it is what it is. So, some some of this is self-inflicted. They should have took the Charlo fight for one deal. Maybe that's not true. Who knows? But right now, Andrade's on the outside looking in just as Terrence Crawford is. You know? And a lot of it got to do with their talent. If they was Mexican, would this fight happen? Absolutely. If they was Puerto Rican, this fight probably happen? Absolutely. But they black, dangerous in the ring, and quote-unquote don't have a fan base. But like they do pretty well when they, they fight at home. <laughs> So if I wasn't worth nothing, then why y'all try to find me? Why y'all try to sign me? That's my thing. If I wasn't worth nothing, why y'all try to sign me? And this is Al Heyman playing for keeps. Now he made this when this this when he started making fights. When other people, when other, when other when his fighters come out and say, Well, I want to fight people across the street, that's when he started making fights. When Terrence Crawford came up to 100 and 47 pounds, then Sean and Earl and Sean, Earl and Danny and Danny and Earl. I mean, Danny and Earl and Danny and Sean start mixing it up. Shit trash, man. Now we got to watch him fight Plant after he got beat the fuck up. Like, after, I don't want to watch Plant no more. Then they going to put a $75 price tag on there. Then say y'all didn't support it. I mean, it is what it is. And all this could be building towards... You know, fighting Canelo, getting him ready for Canelo, putting him in big fights, fine. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at this fight. Should have been happened, but a loss don't stop nothing. The true. Damn, man. You know, he was like, I fight didn't draw nothing. And I was like, nope. We got a plant for you. He like, I'll take it. These dudes don't control their own career, man. Sit there. He sit there all that woofing, and now you fighting Caleb Plant when that shit should have been happened. Plant said he been trying to fight you. You been avoiding him. I mean, shit, that's what Plant was saying. We put that fight on the back burner. Now he lost. Now y'all want to make the fight. Like, bro, we seen you let a little junior middleweight walk you down. Like, what you going to do, a nigga? That should be a cruiser with a heavyweight walk you down. So Charlo probably going to move up, get the winner. They gonna, I don't know. That, I, I would imagine Charlo be McGuire. He's going to move up, get the winner. Then they're going to start putting a push for Canelo when it's three-fight deal, a two-fight deal, a deal with the zone up. Who knows? And that's what it's going to be. And I say it's not a bad cancellation prize, but Andre was a better fight. That was an intriguing fight. It was a fight that people wanted to see. But Samson Boxing, Samson from uh Samson Boxing, his, his, his promoter told y'all. It's gonna need too much money to make that fight. But and the good thing, at least you finally get playing Benavidez. She it took Andrade to make it happen. It took Terrence Crawford the to, to, for them to start putting Errol Spence in the damn uh it took Terrence Crawford to move for the, them to have Errol Spence start fighting people. PBC just trying to milk it, bro. That's it. PBC just trying to milk it. That's the honest truth. And then when somebody, when somebody, you know, when they, they fighters get brave and start selling other fighters' names, and then it, it become a reality, then they start making, then then they start making the fights. So it took Andrade to make this fight. It took Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, to start making this fights. Had them niggas never exist, they still would be beat. They 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 still would be beaten on on punching bags. And that's crazy to me, bro. But it's the sport. It's the sport. It's the sport, bro. And I mean, I ain't even mad about it, bro. I ain't even mad about it, man. I mean, I ain't mad. I mean, shit, it's a good cancellation prize. I can't lie. It's a good cancellation prize. Great can I can great. Neither one of them was gonna have a belt level. Well, the Benavides had an interim belt, and Andre had an interim belt, but neither one of them had a major belt in the line. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I can't really get mad about it, but, you know, Andra just, you know, it's hard to see a brother like that, make some bad business decisions, but it is what it is. For him to be penalized the way he's been penalized, I mean, shit. It's messed up. But he's dangerous, and, you know, he going to get a great – somebody either one of these two things going to happen. He, somebody gonna move up unexpectedly and beat him, or he gonna get old overnight, or both gonna happen on the same night. So up and down. They knew Ben Davidas. You know, you they knew Ben Davidas. They knew nah matchmaking. Nah, you're not gonna do that. They knew that wasn't gonna happen. They knew Andre was gonna dominate him. They knew he couldn't win. At least in this way, they know Plant ain't got no chance. But at least this way, they know if Plant, they know if Plant win. You know, I mean, shit, they still, they still got him on the side of the street to do a rematch and all that, but 
I said before, Andre, I might have to walk over there and just take what they give him. I mean, that sound bad. All him and Terrence Crawford doing is wasting time. Most shit, they got they owe their homie Gary Russell over there too. They came with the same class out the amateurs. He getting done bad, and he over there too. But even though a lot of his is self inflicted, he won't top dollar as a featherweight. They said he won't vote. People saying he won't vote to weight money. But hey, you know, like I said, this shit don't surprise me, bro. Don't none of this surprise me. Don't none of this surprise me. None of it surprised me, bro. But I, mean, I knew it. I knew they weren't gonna let that nigga fight, bro. I told y'all. I told y'all they weren't gonna let him fight. It just it just made it just made too much sense. I knew they was gonna pull something because of the, the the plan. I guess before Monguia came out here, the plan was for him. For, for Charlo and Plant to fight. I guess they was going to have interim fights and then fight later, or they supposed to fight next. You know what I'm saying? But I guess that didn't, that, I mean, I guess I'm mean, going to change it, and then they called up, and he started talking about Andrade, and they was like, oh, we got to call an audible, so. It was what it is. Plant ain't got to stand no chance in hell. I used to think he stand a chance in hell, but after I seen a little, you know, fat, junior middleweight uh, walk him down and beat him up, he ain't got no chance. So he's saying uh, he can't mess with him. He can't mess with him. Like, bro, did we we seen your last fight, bro. So now that Andre started talking, bro, now that Andre started talking, now they want to make this fight. Like I said before, it is what it is, man. That's boxing for you. That's boxing for you, bro. So I'm telling you, man, Terrence Crawford is and Andrade is making is unconstipating PVC boxing, bro. These niggas really got these dudes shook. I don't think Andrade, David Benavidez is scared. I think he think he can win. But the powers to be at PVC don't think he can win. So that is what it is, man. It is what it is. So yeah. I mean it's, it's a shame. It's a shame that it took Demetrius Andrade and it took uh and it took uh Terrence Crawford to get some of these fights made, but you know they like the anti Pacquiao, Mayweather, and Canelo. They get shit moving. So I mean we'll see, but hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance of notification. We go live, drop a video. You can find me on t uh, Twitter and Spotify and Anchor and Instagram and the whole nine. Hit the link tree, link in the description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal, link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you think.